Hi guys, today I have a fall clothing haul for you. I feel like I haven't done one of these in a little bit. Besides the Walmart video we did recently, a lot of you seem to really like that. My style is pretty casual, so if your style is casual, if you're working from home or you just like nice comfortable outfits that you also feel cute and comfortable wearing out in public, running errands most of the time. I'm working from home, I'm working out, I'm playing with my dogs, doing stuff like that, or I have to run out and get groceries or run some errands. I feel like you can wear all fall, all winter, and feel really cute and trendy and everything will be linked down below if you guys want to check out any of these pieces for yourself and let's go ahead and get started i am going to start with what i have on today right now i have on a shirt from nordstrom this is the bp shirt and it is in an extra small as you can see it's oversized it's a little bit longer in the back which i love these flannels are so comfortable i think i was wearing one in a recent video which was this one i got it in an extra extra small because like i said it is oversized after i washed and dried it i felt like it shrunk a little bit so i feel like i'm liking the extra small better for sizing reference i am 5'2 so you can tell like this is how long it is on me it also looks really nice just tied around the waist and they've been on sale recently for the past several weeks these have been on sale i also got it in this color which is pink adobe james plaid that's the official name of it these are shirts that i will just wear over and over again i feel like it looks cute with jeans it looks cute with leggings you can even wear it like with cute little booties you can wear it with sneakers whatever so i feel like there's lots of different ways to wear a plaid shirt so today how i have it styled i have this little cropped top shop t-shirt on which this was another shirt I wanted to talk to you guys about. I have a couple of these. I just bought another one because I wear this shirt all of the time. I could wear it every single day. It's just a really great white t-shirt that it's cropped but not too short on me as you can tell and it looks great under so many things i also feel like when you're wearing a longer shirt like this one it looks a little bit more flattering to have a shorter top here so you're not just wearing something all really long in the front you know we can kind of see your shape a little bit more with a short top like i said they're top shop i get them in the us six they're twelve dollars literally $12 from Nordstrom. I think people think like everything from Nordstrom is really expensive, but it's just not the truth. Like there are some great things that are a great price there. So 12 bucks for this t-shirt. So that is what I have on along with my new Abercrombie jeans, which I am obsessed with. I've said this before. I love getting jeans from Abercrombie and Fitch. I feel like they've always just fit me so well. The past few years, especially when Abercrombie and Fitch made its comeback, I love how their jeans fit. They have the curve love jeans and then they have just the regular ones. And honestly, I always get the regular, even though I am, I would say like curvier. I always just get the regular ones. I, I just like the way they fit a little bit better. But the Curve Love ones does have a little bit more stretch in them. These are a pair of their 90s straight leg jeans and they have some cute little slits on the side. I love them and I'm also wearing them with my new Ugg Taz slippers. These, I will say, are very hard to get your hands on. I think this is the only thing in the haul that might be kind of hard to get your hands on right now. But I checked yesterday because my sister-in-law wanted some too. And they actually did have a couple sizes in stock. But they're on back order. So you can still order them, but they're on back order. What I did is because I got mine from the Nordstrom website, I actually put them on my wish list. And as soon as they came back in stock in my size, I got an email notification. So I was able to order them immediately. So I I really do think if you have your eye on something like this, Nordstrom's a good way to go because you can put it on your wish list and you'll get notified as soon as it comes back in stock. But you can also try the UGG website too. I think I got them almost a week ago. I've worn them pretty much every single day and I am wearing them around the house. I've worn them in public a couple of times and I feel really cool in them. Also, I feel like they look great with these jeans. They kind of make my legs look a little bit longer because they do have the platform. And really quick, I'm gonna share some fun accessories I've recently got. I shared this, I think, in my last Amazon video. I'm always picking up some sort of baseball cap. I feel like I'm a big cap girl. I don't know why, I just like them. I always think they're a fun little accessory 
to wear in this brown color i love for fall i have a few of these like la and new york hats this was 36 dollars from amazon i think it's more expensive than some of the other little la dodgers hats because of the color or something i think it's just like a more desirable color another accessory i just got this in two days ago this has been something that has been hard to get my hands on as well and then i saw it in stock and purchased it i shared it on instagram immediately as soon as i ordered mine so if you guys aren't following me over there on instagram make sure to because i try to post things a little bit quicker over there this is the sherpa everywhere belt bag from lululemon You've probably seen so many people wearing these everywhere belt bag. So I got it in this black color because that was what was in stock when I ordered it. But now I saw that the camel is in stock this morning. And I was like, ooh, should I have got the camel? Do I need both? I'm just letting you guys know though, these have been in stock recently on the Lululemon website. I check pretty much every morning. It seems like in the morning they're always in stock and then maybe by the end of the day they're out of stock. So every couple days I see them back in stock. So keep an eye out for this. Yeah, I think I might need the camel color to go with things like my brown stuff. And then this might just go with my black stuff. But yeah, I just got it in two days ago. I haven't worn it yet, but I think it'll be really cute for fall and winter. So you can wear it around your waist like this or wear it like this, which is really cute too. So a couple of fun ways to wear it. I'm probably going to try to order it in the camel, but I love the Sherpa. It comes in like an ivory color too. That one scares me though, because I'm like, I would just get that dirty really fast, and these are $58. Another Abercrombie & Fitch find was this black Henley right here. Hopefully you can tell. I'm trying to adjust the lighting a little bit for you guys. It is ribbed. I feel like black is kind of hard to show on camera. It's very, very stretchy and form-fitting. Kind of sucks everything in. It comes in, I think, four different colors. It comes in black, white, ivory, and blue originally i ordered it in blue and then i exchanged it for the black because i just feel like i'll wear this color more it's always good to just have like a simple little black shirt i'm probably gonna end up ordering it in the white too i think abercrombie and fitch has great staples for any time of the year these little top shop shirts that i was talking about they're cropped just basic little t-shirts great for going under things i got another one that's a little more of like a graphic tee, same size as the white one. This is more of like a cream color, it says New York on it, and I thought it would just look cute under some of these plaid shirts with jeans or leggings, whatever, but I love little basics like that that are still cute that are just easy to throw on under things. Like I said, all my outfits are pretty casual. I'm hanging out at the house, working out. That leads me to a cute little workout outfit. I think my favorite place to get workout clothes from is Aloe and probably Gymshark because Gymshark stuff is way more affordable and it's really good quality for workout clothes and they're always coming out with like new designs and patterns and I just think they're really fun. The color is called Cherry Brown. I think they're really, really cute. And then I got the matching long sleeve workout top. These are great, especially for the winter because when I'm working out in the barn, it's definitely a little bit chillier. We do have heat out there, but we don't turn it up super high. Um, so it's nice to have like a cute long sleeve workout top. It has the little thumb holes in it. And again, in this cherry brown color, I pretty much get everything I have from Gymshark in a size small for sizing reference. Speaking of Gymshark. I got this sweatshirt maybe a month ago in a medium, so it's definitely oversized. It already is an oversized sweatshirt, but I really liked the orange color for fall, kind of like this rusty orange color, and it is so comfy. I just, every morning when I wake up and I'm a little bit chilly, I just gravitate and throw this sweatshirt on, or Joshua likes to call it my pump cover. I'll put this on before a workout or something. I just love it. I was making chili in it though, like two nights ago and I haven't washed it yet so <laughs> might be a little chilly on it but you can do it all in the sweatshirt just super 
comfy, cozy, oversized. And then like I said, I love my aloe. These leggings right here are so good. I got these probably a month ago, but I just checked on their website. They still have them available in tons of sizes. I know right when they came out, they were selling out really fast, but they must restocked. They have them in three different colors. I was wearing these on Instagram one day and I got a few questions about them because I think the butt is kind of different and it's cute and it has like these this velvet like striping going down the side and this waistband is all velvet too. It also comes with like a matching bra. These are in the 7 eighths, 7 eighths length which is more like a regular length for me but yeah really cute. Also in my aloe stuff I will say I usually always size down to like an extra extra small in their leggings. All of my leggings are extra extra small from there and I feel like they fit great. They're super comfortable. Aloe, I've talked about it before. I think that they just make such good high quality stuff. I know it's a little bit more pricey but I wear it over and over and over again. Here's a couple more basics from Nordstrom. These are BP tops and I got them both in extra small. They're a little bit more cropped, but not too cropped to where your belly's hanging out or anything. I got it in this oatmeal color and then I also got it in gray. They were a great price for just basics. I wanna say like 20 bucks. I've been wearing them all the time. I was just wearing this one yesterday. Great to even go like under the flannel or just wear like under a vest or something. Super cute basics. I love like kind of like this waffly material, really cozy for fall and winter. And then speaking of a vest, I picked up this one from Nordstrom. This is the BP brand. I have been looking for a black vest that was more affordable. I loved the one that I saw at Lululemon. It was like $220, which I was like, okay, I'm not doing that because I just didn't want to spend that kind of money on a vest. So this one is from Nordstrom. This is the BP brand. And I think it has a nice look to it, but I think I need to go down another size. I think it's already oversized and they do have it available in an extra, extra small. And I think that's what I'm gonna get because this is extra small. And as you can see, see it's still pretty big, which I'm fine with it being a little oversized. I just, I just think this could be just a little bit smaller, but super cute and a great price point, 65 bucks. I love wearing a little vest over flannels like this or just over like one of these long sleeve t-shirts. I think it's a great way to just make your outfit look a little bit more put together if you're not ready to wear a coat yet. This is how I would wear this outfit. I would do the hat, the vest, the flannel. We've got a lot of layers going on here. We got the little Ugg shoe. We've got all like the trendy Instagram things on, don't we? And then I would do my little belt bag. I would maybe even do it under the vest, but I'd put it all on and it would all look cute. Um, so that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing how I would pair some of these outfits together. Like I said, everything's gonna be linked down below in the description box, or maybe you guys just got some inspiration for things that you already have in your closet and how to style it. Let me know in the comment section down below. What did you guys think? What is your favorite fall trend? What's your least favorite fall trend this year? Maybe it's the Ugg slippers, guys, but I love this trend. And like I said, I think everything is pretty, pretty decent price point in this haul, and I think everything should still be in stock, except these might be the hardest thing to get your hands on, but maybe it'll work out for you. Add them to your wish list on the Nordstrom website and maybe you'll get a notification and you can order them. Order them in a size up though, I will say. If you do get them, order them in a size up because I think they do run a little bit small. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new or if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet. Hope you guys are doing great and I will see you really soon in my next video.